Ahem. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. We're the real pineapple. We're back. Oh my god, it's been feels like it's been forever. Uh, this is Hunter here, and I'm flying solo this weekend because Scott uh, Scott is out of town and Colin's out of town. So, bros, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Um, so, gotta apologize about the delay, but uh, the reason why we haven't been recording here recently, in the last couple weeks, is uh, we were all out in Los Angeles for a fancy draft, uh, which was wonderful, but then I've just been having nothing but tech, uh, technical difficulties with my computer, and uh, for those of you who have Windows, you know that whenever there's a new update, it seems like something goes wrong, whether it automatically mutes your microphone, which is what was happening with me, or it causes your antivirus to run slower, just all these issues with Windows 10, Microsoft, get it together. Uh, so I need to give a very, very special shout out. Uh, to uh, a to a uh, Bina R in Microsoft technical support, I promised her I would give her a shout out on the podcast if she got my stuff working again, and she did. She hung in there with me for nearly three, uh, almost uh, for almost an hour and a half, uh, working with me on getting this fixed. After working with five other people who could have given a damn, so I wanted to give her a special shout out. So thank you. If I ever have any issues, I'll be chatting in a few. All right, with all that said, uh, I wanted to talk real quick here about Ingrid Goes West, which came out uh, about, a, I want to say about a month ago, and again, that's when my issue started, so I've been trying to get this fixed, but uh, Ingrid Goes West, it's, I will say, it's it's going to be very interesting to see if this kind of gets a cult following, kind of like that kick-ass uh, cult, cult following. Uh, this has Elizabeth Olsen in it as playing this I don't even know who you compare it to. Almost uh, kind of like one of those blog, like those blogger Instagram celebrity types. You know, fill in the blank as far as you know what you consider a quote Instagram celebrity. I I, I guess like a smart Kylie Jenner. There you go. And <laughs> and she ends up getting stalked by Ingrid, of course, played by Aubrey Plaza. What I find really interesting about this is because me, Colin, and Scott, we've had this conversation several times in different forms. The fact that so many people, if not 90% of us, share pretty much everything on social media. We, you know, the, the, it's become a thing where you're not dating someone until it's Facebook official. I mean, that's how much social media has become ingrained in our culture. And it's really interesting to watch this movie because Taylor, uh, Elizabeth Olsen's character, she's not really doing anything wrong the problem is that she's sharing so much of herself on social media. And I, and I think that it's a very interesting question that, that this movie poses. When when we were in L.A., I think I posted two or three photos. And I remember I had a couple of people go, oh, you only took a couple photos? And I've been trying recently, at least, over the last couple of years, to just put less of myself on social media because... It's true. If you find someone who is just obsessed with you, I mean, think about what you put on social media. Would they be able to connect the dots and find out, you know, where you live or really be able to gauge your interests or really, you know, lie to you to become your friend? And that's really the question that this movie poses. It reminded me a lot of Death to Smoochie. I know it is just the most random <laughs> reference I could pull, but just the way that the comedy is so sharp but it it gets really uncomfortable at a couple points so and and so i don't want to give too much of the plot away so if you haven't seen a trailer for this i would honestly recommend don't because i watched the red band trailer because i was i was just curious and it gives a lot of the movie away unfortunately this is put out by a uh, by neon studio they're definitely a smaller studio and I don't know if it's just because they're like, hey, we have Aubrey Plaza. We want to be able to, you know, go ahead and kind of speak to that and share it. But I think they really probably shared way too much of the film just in the trailer. So don't watch the trailer if you can if you can help it. But uh, the shorthand version is uh, Ingrid, played by Aubrey Plaza. She has a grandma who, di uh, who dies from, they don't really, I, it's, it's, I don't, I cannot remember what the illness is, but she... Basically, leaves her this inheritance, leaves her a good amount of money, like I think they say 70, like 70 grand or something like that. And so, 
she's just in this small town really doing nothing. Uh, she has been pretty much outcast because, and this is one thing I will give away, the movie shows at the very beginning uh, Ingrid go into go to this girl's wedding and sprays her in the eyes <laughs> with with a pepper spray and said, thanks for inviting me to your wedding and, and you and that's how the movie starts that's two minutes in so if, if that makes you uncomfortable it's, it gets a lot worse I promise uh, what is so fascinating about those that uh, Ingrid discovers uh, Elizabeth Olsen's Taylor on Instagram and just starts seeing you know the books she likes to read and how she dresses and comments on some food thing that she gets and Taylor makes the fatal mistake of saying, hey, next time you're in L.A., you know, maybe I'll take you out for this or something to that effect. And it really just spirals into uh, drugs and deception. And I think my biggest complaint about this movie, personally, is where it ends up. And, and, and I again, I'm not going to give it any way, but when you when you see what's happened from point A to point B, uh, just that middle part, and there's so much good stuff in the middle. Uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, Little Ice Cube, uh, plays Dan, who's uh, Ingrid's landlord, and their back and forth is hilarious. Plus, he's obsessed with Batman, so I immediately thought he was just brilliant. Uh, <laughs> he keeps talking about Batman forever, and I... They got a surprising amount of gas mileage out of that movie, or, or out of that, uh, out of that joke. And I don't know who this guy is. I've never actually seen him, to my knowledge, really in anything. Uh, this guy, he was in Bridge of Spies. That's right. Uh, this guy, a uh, Billy uh, Magnuson, I think, as I think is how you say it. He plays this guy Nikki, who's Taylor's brother, and the movie just goes into, oh fuck territory <laughs> once he shows up it's it's it, there's a lot of really great performances here i think i want to as much as i love aubrey plaza and i do i if she asked me to get married tomorrow i i wouldn't say no uh elizabeth olsen really shows a different side of herself but kind of playing this ditzy and when you it comes down to it kind of crappy person and i think if you're gonna complain about anything that might be a complaint there's really no one here Maybe, maybe Dan that you can really cheer for. There's a lot of just kind of despicable people. It's almost like it's always sunny, where you know it's just a matter of which person do you hate the least. But, I, but, damn, I would say I I can't say that I didn't just absolutely enjoy the hell out of this. Again, my biggest complaint, really, getting into the, my final thoughts here, is the fact that where it ends up. While it's realistic, I felt like it's almost unearned given what happens. So, and again, I think I'll fall into the minority in that. I think when you do get to the end, a lot of people will go, oh, okay, cool. I, I don't think it will bug people <laughs> the way, it, most people, the way it bugs me. But it was just a bit of a sticking point for me. So, with all that said, even still with that little complaint, uh, the soundtrack is fantastic. The way it's shot especially for an indie movie, has this very L.A. vibe about it. It's actually kind of sweet to see Ingrid and Taylor, their their friendship uh, kind of blossom, even though it's built on bullshit. <laughs> but it's actually kind of cute to see them interact. And whenever Ingrid and Dan interact, it's it's, it's nothing but hilarious. I, I think uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. is going to be a hell of a star moving forward. He's a charismatic young brother, young brother and... I just like seeing him stuff. So this movie really hit for me. I'm going to give this a solid A. Um, I think if the ending, again, just hadn't irked me, I probably would have given this a fan fucking tastic. But uh, even still, this is something that I will be buying opening opening week when it comes out. I'll probably wait for the Blu-ray on it because I'm really curious about the special features behind it. But love the hell out of this. Solid A. Definitely see it when it's, uh, when it's available. So, guys... Have you seen Ingrid Goes West? Let us know in the comments below. You can follow us here on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Podbean. 
uh, and Google Music at the Real Pineapple. You can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. You can follow Scott on Twitter at Nearman the First, and you can follow Colin on Twitter at the Real. That's R E E L O'Neill. Guys, thank you so much. This weekend we'll have a review up for it. Uh, I did not see it because I hate clowns, so fuck that. Uh, but, but we'll have a review up for that this weekend, and we'll have a review up for one of my most anticipated movies for the rest of the year, Kingsman the Golden Circle. I am pumped. I pray the guy that movie is good. But, guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.